Newcastle versus Sunderland, Geordies versus Mackhams, the Magpies versus the Black Cats. You know, it's a, it's a tremendous atmosphere and it's one to savour for every player. It's that, it, it's that one place of, of, of honour, of pride um, and, uh, and it's the place where battle takes place. And some say that rivalry began many years ago. The Battle of Bolton Hill in 1644 set the Royalists of Newcastle and the Parliamentarians of Sunderland head to head during the Civil War. And over the recent decades, it's still been a bitter fight at times, even on the pitch. Most other derbies involve teams from the same town, Tottenham and Arsenal, Celtic and Rangers, even Inter Milan and AC Milan. But the Tynewyr derby is different, with 12 miles separating the two sides. So just what is it that divides two cities, two clubs, two sets of supporters? It really was Jackie Milburn, you know, gr um, great number nine, uh, um, who preceded me in the Newcastle side. He made me aware of it and, uh, and, and spoke of the void that there was because because there wasn't this derby match to be played. And he said, he said, hope Sunderland get promoted um, because uh, it, it, will, it, it, it will bring a fresh life to, um, to Tyneside and to Wearside, I presume. Obviously, um, Newcastle being in the Championship at the present moment and, and, and Sunderland being in, in, the, in the Premiership, I think, you know, one thing which is being missing is the derby games. I think, um, you know, everybody looks forward to the derby, I think. When, you, when, when the two clubs are, are in the same division, I think that's the first fixtures to look out for when, when we actually play e each other. Obviously, <laughs> it's the one game you look forward to in the season, Sunderland v Newcastle. And you want a packed house, you know, in Rocker Park, when our player could hold 46,000. Well, again, uh, you, go, you can have a, a good season and uh, have no derby game, and then you think, oh, well, you can have a poor season and there'll be no derby game. It actually is the icing on the cake, it's a cherry on the pie if you like. And Shearer lays it off and Dyer, and this is Bellamy away. Bellamy with an early chance for Newcastle. But it's just in the centre and there's danger here for Sunderland. Oh, and a block by Tommy Wright. Phillips again. I think it's political. I mean, I, I was part of the um, the We Are United group. I have I have worked alongside Sunderland supporters. There was a, there was a period when Newcastle fans and Sunderland fans were banned from each other's grounds. Um, it was under the you know, Keegan was manager at the time. Newcastle fans weren't allowed uh, to, to go to the derby. You know, we reciprocated. We banned their fans, and we worked together with Sunderland supporters. I worked with Martin McFadden. I worked with uh, quite a few others, and we, we did a walk between the grounds. You know, we organised a walk between St James's Park and uh, and Roker Park to try and get the ban lifted. We set of a group called We Are United and Newcastle fans and Sunderland fans work together. Um, I think the rivalry probably stems from initially the sort of whole economic sort of battle between Sunderland and Newcastle as two cities because obviously Sunderland was the, is, is the biggest city population wise and the whole shipyard heritage um, made Sunderland like a massive city but post Second World War councils poured more money, governments poured more money into Newcastle than they did Sunderland and made it like the regional capital whereas Durham was I think before then historically. Um, and I think there was, I think there's a lot of people from Sunderland had to go through Newcastle to work, and obviously with the cities being so close, but only having one football team each, like it, it creates a rivalry. Gates, Gabbiadini gets it back. Yes, many of bodies in there. Derby's us. And uh, I have witnessed derby games with Sunderland Newcastle, and I have to say the atmosphere is is top draw. Uh, both sets of fans, they, they despise each other on the day. I'm sure they're friends afterwards. I think the, the rivalry, it, it, it stems from, um, in, in the main, from, from pride in one's city or town. Um, and your football club, it, it travels the country. And so it, it, it sort of flies the flag, if you like, for for the city, for the people, um, and, and of course the, the home ground, St James's Park in Newcastle's case, um, it was Roker Park and now, and now the st stadium of, I have to be very careful here, I shall be most polite and say light. How does our, comp our derby compare to the rest of the UK? I think it stands alongside the um, Glasgow derby, Celtic and Rangers. You know, what it actually means to the supporters. I think when you're talking about the, the Manchester derby, I don't think it has that same sort of feeling 
as what it has up in, in the North East because again, in business or wherever you work, you're either working alongside somebody who supports Sunderland or who supports Newcastle and uh, if you actually do win the Derby game then you've got one over on, uh, uh, on your mate or you, your work mate for, until they can get revenge. This rivalry has been around long before football and there's no sign of it ending.